What you guys got another video? Windows 11 has finally surpassed Windows 10. 52.54% of users are now using Windows 11 compared to Windows 10 users, which is still at 44.08% in July 2025. Like I told you before, if you look at the graph, you can see that Windows 11 is starting to gather pace over Windows 10. Windows 10 is now finally in decline and it's now dying off very, very quickly. And this is because it is reaching end of life very, very soon. In fact, it's October 14th, 2025 when Windows 10 reaches end of life. So what will happen if you don't extend updates for $30 or update Windows at all? Well, as you can see right here, this is just one month for Windows 10 and you can see the amount of security updates and patches that Microsoft have rolled out for that operating system. It's irresponsible of people to say, just use the operating system without security updates because you'll be perfectly fine. And that's simply not true. Another bit of misinformation I see people say is a good antivirus program will keep you safe and you won't need to worry about security updates. These are vulnerabilities and holes in the operating system. Microsoft find these and security companies find these and then they patch them with updates. Without these updates, you are going to be vulnerable. These updates are essential for keeping your operating system safe. So the misinformation is installing antivirus software on the PC, and this will be perfectly fine and keep you safe. And you won't need to worry about security updates from Microsoft. And the problem with that is it's only protecting you against malware that you download onto the computer. It doesn't protect you against zero day and it also doesn't protect hackers or people probing those holes in the operating system that are trying to gain access through an exploit that they have found uh, on your operating system. So security updates and patches are essential to any operating system, whether it be Windows, whether it be Linux, Android or any other operating system. Security updates and patches are released to fix holes and patch vulnerabilities on that operating system. And I can continue scrolling through these all day long. So these are critical with maximum severity. They need to be patched. This is a remote code execution. This is just one example, and there is tons of them. So without patching the operating system, these will just sit on the system unpatched and make you vulnerable especially if you're using the computer like most people use their computer where they're doing banking online and they're typing in sensitive information on websites. All this can be exploited. So a question I see quite a bit is, should I upgrade to Windows 11? Well, basically, if your computer is compatible with Windows 11, now is the time to start backing up your data and upgrading to Windows 11. But what if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11? Well, if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11, you can extend security updates for one more year with Microsoft. Microsoft have said that they're only offering it for one more year. So that is all you're going to get. You can check your system specifications to make sure that your system is compatible. The system requirements page will give you all of the information you need, and you can get this via the Windows update page. There's a link on the right hand side of it and it will take you straight here and you can then check to see whether your system is compatible. Normally, Microsoft will verify your device meets the uh, minimum requirements for Windows 11 by using something like the PC Health Check app. You can download this for free and basically run it on your system and it will tell you whether you're eligible to roll out an update or upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. If your system isn't compatible, this will tell you uh, and it might be a simple case that you have, say, for instance, secure boot turned off. And if that's the case, you'll need to boot into the BIOS and enable that feature to be able to roll out an upgrade to Windows 11. Let me just quickly check here. You can see on this PC that secure boot is disabled. That doesn't mean that my PC is not compatible for Windows 11. It just means a feature in the BIOS is turned off. And there's an informational link right there. So if I go and turn that on in the BIOS, I will then be able to roll out an upgrade to Windows 11. All my other system requirements are eligible. So that's all you need to do there. Now, I understand that a lot of people like Windows 10 and they don't want Windows 11 because of all the bloatware and the privacy concerns and things like this. And that's totally understandable. 
So what are your options? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Microsoft are offering you just one year extended security updates. They've said they're not extended more than one year. So you're going to get one more life year on that operating system, and that's it. Unless you work for a company, you're a corporate business, then they offer you those companies three more years. So you can either use the backup to sync your settings to the cloud at no additional cost. Again, I've already covered this in videos, but again, this will mean that you would need a Microsoft account to be able to do this. You can also redeem 1000 Microsoft reward points, which I've already covered in another video. And that means you will get it for free by redeeming those 1000 Microsoft points, but you will need to sign into a Microsoft account to do that. And the other option is to pay the $30 but you still need to have a Microsoft account to be able to receive these updates and be in the ESU program. So you can't avoid it. And this is where the big problem lies. So if you are on Windows 10 and you're using a local account uh, and not a Microsoft account, then you will need to sign into a Microsoft account to proceed to receive security updates. So you might want to sign into this now and set it up. That way you'll be ready for the extended security updates by Microsoft. Another thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that the PC is fully activated with a legitimate key. And that's easy enough to check. You can just go to the activation center in Windows and it will tell you that your system is activated and you're good enough to go. Now, of course, there is also the LTSE uh, versions of Windows, which are not legit versions of Windows for uh, normal home users. But if you are adamant that you want to stay on windows 10 then you can use the iot ltsc which will allow you to activate that with one of these keys you can purchase online and that will then give you a volume license key activation and you can stay on there till 2032 on version 21 h2 so there's that option you will need to make sure that you've got all of your system fully updated to very latest version to be able to use the extended windows updates as well so 22 h2 is what you need to be on if you're concerned about known issues on Windows 11, you can check the known issues website. There's a whole list of known issues there. Honestly, Windows 11 is not as bad as what people make out. Yes, you have to de-bloat the system a little bit, turn off a bunch of settings, stay in a local account if you want to, if you don't want to connect to a Microsoft account, and basically check to make sure that all of these things are happy. Most people that are using Windows 11 don't have a lot of the issues that I've broadcasted on my website. And the reason why is because there's many different hardware configurations and there's many different computers out there. Some people simply just don't get affected by it. Maybe some people don't play games. So the easy anti-cheat problem is not gonna affect you. The only other alternative is to use another operating system like Linux or any other operating systems out there that you can use to keep that old beta going. Resistance is futile. Windows 10 is pretty much dead. It's got one more year unless you use one of the other LTSE versions. But really, there's nothing new. This has happened with all the previous operating systems that Microsoft have released. They all reach end of life sooner or later. Let me know in the comments section down below what you're going to be doing with your system. I'll be interested to read your comments, whether you're going to Linux, whether you're extending with the extended updates options, or whether you're using Zero Patch, or whether you're going to use Windows without any security updates, or whatever it is your option is. Let me know in the comments section. I'll be interested to read your comments. Anyway, my name is Ben Bryan from brotechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.